Today we want to show you a different type of roof removal to add to your arsenals of ways of doing it. Now, there's lots of different ways to remove a roof from a vehicle, a wrecked vehicle. You can flap it, you can completely remove it, flap it multiple directions, so there's lots of different ways. When we're in the junkyard doing training, a lot of the times there's 10, 20 people out in the junkyard with us doing the training. So when we're doing a complete roof removal, it makes it a little bit easy because people can take a position around the vehicle, count to three, everybody lifts the roof, and then walks the roof back. I'm going to show you a way of doing it that uses minimal manpower. And for most of the departments within our country, that's exactly what we're running with. We're running with minimum manpower. You show up on a scene with two, three people at the best. You're trying to get the person out of the vehicle. You're trying to do a roof removal. It makes it very difficult, uh, more so than what we do when we're in a, in a training atmosphere. So we're going to show you the different techniques and ways of doing this so it makes the process simple for you. On this particular vehicle, we chose a minivan because of the, the weight of the roof line. If we can do it with a minivan, we can do it with, an, with a regular automobile. We went ahead and, and took some safety precautions so that we, we didn't have to walk you through glass removal and things like that. We just wanted to show you this particular maneuver. So we went ahead and removed the glass, removed the windshield. The struts on the hatchback on this minivan, we disconnected those and got them out of the sequence. We checked our plastic around the vehicle to make sure we didn't have any specific hazards involved. We've got the battery disconnected um, and, and the seat belts cut. So I believe everything that we've gotten ready to go, we're, we're pretty much ready to go. We didn't go ahead and, and stabilize the vehicle. If you're looking down and saying, well, where's your, your stabilization on the chocks? We didn't do it. We're not after that on this particular thing. We're just after this maneuver. All right, what we're going to demonstrate here is I'm going to have Joey go ahead and cut this up high first. Stop there. There you go. I'm going to have Joey cut up high first, and the reason why I wanted to do the high cut first, if he was by himself, and we have our patient sitting here, and he makes his high cut first, then he can drop down and do his bottom cut and still hold on to the loose metal and pull it out. If he does it backwards, one of the two is going to fall. So we're going to do the top cut first. So Joey, go ahead and make your top cut. Come on down here and give me a bottom cut. Look at them. Real low as you can, right? We're going to go ahead and take this post completely out. Alright, go come around from the front side and show you get rid Okay, the reason why we took this B post out is because I want to move the roof line in a twisting motion over the top of the patient. And so to get the roof line off of it in the quickest way possible is to go clockwise in this particular direction for this particular patient sitting here. If I had a patient sitting back here, then I might rotate the roof line on the A post instead of rotating it on this C post. So you got to kind of see where your patient is located in the vehicle and know which way you want to do your rotation. So what we're going to do is, is we cut this B post out. Now we're going to go ahead and take the A post and work our way around the vehicle. This post is going to be our pivot post, and we're going to want to pivot it clockwise. That way the roof leaves the patient early instead of taking the, the majority of the roof over the top of the patient. If we had a patient on the passenger side front, then we would want to pivot it counterclockwise, and this would be our pivot point, pivot post. If the patient is in the back, then we would leave one of the A posts, depending on which way we wanted to pivot it, to pivot on an A post and cut the, the C post. We're going to cut from the outside here, and the reason why we're going to cut this way 
is I want to cut through the hatchback strength. If I come in from this way to make my stress cut, then I still have the hatchback strength in, in play. So I'm going to take that out and make a, a cut right here, weaken this C post just a little bit, make my final cut there, and then we're going to show our pivot. You can see that roof line was very heavy. That was a heavy one. And two of us was able to, to take it off without endangering the patient, dropping it on them. A lot of times we'll try to pick it up into the air and it'll, it'll fall back down. But you'd probably had to have had, I'd probably say four, at least four people to get this roof off safe. Six would have been better. But uh, Joey Edwards and I, Instructor Edwards, removed with just me and him. So that's what I'm showing you, the maneuver for the smaller departments who's running minimal manpower, you still need to take the roof. I'd like to thank all those individuals for helping with this maneuver. Uh, we call this maneuver the Tennessee Twist because it was the personnel in Tennessee who came up with it. We hope it comes into handy for you and is an advantage in your education processes. Thank you.